Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment, welcome to another episode of my farming simulator... No, sorry, farming... Me farm mechanic simulator. So many simulators. Boy, boy, boy. Um, yeah, but yeah, welcome to my uh, playthrough of the farm mechanic simulator 2015. Uh, we are on order number 11. Um, first achievement is gonna be on order 25, so we are almost halfway there. Um, so our order number 11 is again on a Vladek T25 tractor with a 1.4 liter engine with 31 horsepower to the PTO and uh, a mass of 1.8 tons. And uh, as you can see, repair the damaged elements of the clutch, clutch perform a test drive on the test track. Uh, order description is declined. Thinks that the clutch is a bit slipping. Find out what seems to be the problem. So that's what we're going to do. And to do that, we need to raise the roof. No, we need to raise the lift. And here we go. To get to the clutch, we need to take out this assembly mode. Why can't I disassemble the mode? Oh, right. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Well then. Well then, here we go again. Take all this off. Open the door, open the cabin, and now we start taking stuff off here. Have to start really all the way on top. Take this off. Take the steering column off have then of course here oh yeah of course why would that would be way too easy come on come on come on come on come on come on and, and take the pitman arm that of course is inside the cabin just to keep it interesting. Take the pitman arm off, take the steering... the... Um, steering box assembly off. And now... we can actually go ahead, lift the tractor up and uh, take the clutch off. Yeah, that was that. With 15,000 bolts connected. Yeah. Three more. Two more. One more. And done. So let's have a look at the clutch and assess what we need to repair. Okay. Here we go. So that disc is done. So we're gonna take this plate off. I'm gonna have a look here. No. Two. Three. G. See how the basket looks like. So it is only... Um, it seems like only the disc is uh, what we have to take out. Both discs, apparently. Yep. All right, so we need to, well, you can't really repair those, so I'm just going to order new ones. Gearbox, clutch, and we push a plate was good, the basket was good. Was the basket good though? Let's see. Yes, 
that dust is no good anymore. We need at least this pusher plate for this one. This one is still good. Okay, so we need one basket. There. And now we're gonna put the whole works back together. Just like that. Um, what? I forgot one disc, can you believe it? So we will quickly rectify that situation. Yeah. Completely forgot about that. Unbelievable. Pressure plate. Now we're gonna put the gearbox back in. I wish we had pneumatic tools. And we would be done. And then of course we're gonna have to put the steering column and everything else in. And then this... This uh, one is done for. Mm -hmm. There. Now we can already lower it again. I don't know why I'm always going the long way around, but I take the long way home, I guess. Open la porta. Put the gearbox, uh, the steering box on again. An arm, steering column. Might as well put that all on before we go outside. More efficient this way. So and last but not least. There. All done. So now we can take it out to the test track and I will see you guys once I'm done with the test drive. So, and as you can see, we are done here with our repair. Uh, we were within budget. Barely, but we were within budget. And uh, now we're gonna see what we have next here. I'm hoping to get... Uh, two maybe three uh, tractors done and this looks like a z51 11 with a 2.6 liter engine 45 horsepower to the pdo and a mass of 3.5 tons locate and repair the cause of the problem the client is reporting a problem with the lit check battery light find out what seems to be the problem and repair the possible fault so we're gonna start by popping the hood and check battery. So the battery itself would be okay. I bet you it's the alternator. It's either the alternator or anything with the cables. Could be also the fan is blown. Let's ch uh, not sorry, not the fan, but the belt. Uh, the belt seems good, but the alternator is definitely blown. Now, this, as you guys know, is not really part of the whole process, but they call it... What do they call it here again? Transformer cables, which doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I checked them. And as you can see, they are good. 
So we found the problem here and the reason that I knew right away that uh, the problem has to be the alternator and not the battery itself is because they brought the tractor in here so the thing had still have to have enough power to start and uh, therefore um, alternator was kind of the, the logical um, next step. So we're going to take the belt off and grab the alternator and this is a time where we still can repair stuff ourselves so that's exactly what we are doing we're just gonna repair the alternator here quickly which usually takes way longer i actually when i uh, did my training i still learned how to wind up uh, the coils for an alternator which is a long forgotten art that is no longer taught because it would just take way too much time to um do this manually but i was trained by old standards there and with that uh no with that this one is repaired and i mean 450 dollars for 10 minutes work is not bad so we're gonna see what the third um of our the third of our oh that's the same well similar tractor a little bit bigger yeah 7.6 liter engine with 128 horsepower replace the brake dumps and change the oil for 600 oil change blah blah, blah. yeah 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 i know so let's start with draining the oil I know all that. Go away. We just have to find the oil plug. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Yeah, about that. Should be right there. I hope. So here's the plug. Tell me we are hitting the... Oh no, we hit the ground, did we? Probably. Well, we try it anyway. Put the plug back in. Oil on the ground? Mm, no. I guess we were lucky. And now the ground's okay. So the old oil is out. Now we can pop the hood and change. The want the filter service as well? No, he wanted to replace the drums. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, let's do the oil first. Um, where would they? This is the fuel tank for all intents and purposes. But. Yeah, it is the fuel tank. So, where do they have the filler plug? Hmm. Could be this one. Yep. Sure is. And once we get that done, we are going ahead. That should be plenty. Let's check the old... Oops. A little bit over full, but that's okay. It's a diesel engine. It will burn the oil. It will just push the oil... Um, it will just push the oil through the rings and it burns them. So it's not 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 too terrible i mean it's not great but we can work with that so now he wants to get the brake drums replaced which means we're gonna take the wheels off first of all and in that case i would actually take the wheels off Oh, 
There. That is the weirdest break drum I have ever seen in my life. But okay, what do I know? on the front too we should but it's a front hub no no drums in the front apparently we are hub we are joined I'm so confused See this this is now where where it really where this game becomes a little bit confusing because it's it makes up its own parts and it's not by any stretch of the imagination like this is not a drum either. So there are really no brake drums. Replace the brake drums. Okay, let's take then this off. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but... What do I know? I only did this for how many years? Yeah, see that, that doesn't make any sense. This is where the game really becomes, especially if you are mechanically inclined, or if you are an actual mechanic, this is where the game really becomes frustrating, I have to be honest. Because it just makes stuff up, it assumes stuff, and... Yeah, that is a little bit... Well, it's a lot frustrating. Because... Everything that you learn, you can pretty much just throw out of the window, so now we're gonna see. the brake drums. Well, there are no brake drums. I guess by the time we figure that one out, this episode is going to be over because it takes a lot longer than I expected. I'm just going to take the whole box apart, why not? Now I got everything and I'm gonna repair everything. Not that it needs it, but... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Whatsoever. Gonna put the whole works back together. Those are the rear drums, are they not? Why didn't I see those then? Weird. Weird. Very, very weird. But again, this is completely atypical from uh, how that should be. Elevator arms. 
chassis. There. And now I'm gonna put the tires on. One side done. And yeah, guys, with me here searching around and taking everything apart, I think this is the uh, the last um, no, the last order that we fulfill for today. I hope, though, that you did enjoy the episode, even though it got a little bit confusing here for a while. But as I said, also, um, this has really... This is where you better throw everything away. In a way, it's harder for a mechanic um, to play this because you expect certain things to work a certain way and if they just don't work that way, then that throws you for a loop. And I know I should have just maybe read or whatnot, but it's... It's like... I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Huh? As I said, you expect things to work a certain way and if they don't, then... yeah just throws you for one quick loop there and this tractor is almost ready to go back out But yeah, as I said before, with the oil, with the overfilling, it all it does is the oil will press past the compression rings and uh, will burn. That's all that happens. There. And with that, guys, I say thank you so much for watching. Oh, change the oil. Yeah, we changed the oil. That's probably complaining that we put too much oil in it. That could very well be. All that wonderful oil gone. There. Well, I guess we've just flushed this tank. You're very welcome. On our time and time. So then, let's try this again. See how much oil that was. Oh, come on. Perfect. Oh, wait. Oh no. Cap is on there. So we're good. And with that, I say thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day. And uh, yeah, we'll chat again soon. Thank you for watching. God bless you.